If you're starting a photography business, you've probably noticed there are a lot of tools, a lot of apps, ways to learn, but not all of them are free and you might not have a lot of money coming into your business yet. So I sat down and I thought, what are my 10 favorite tools that are also free that are gonna help you to move your business forward as you're starting out as a photographer. So I came up with these 10 to share with you today and I really hope that you enjoy them. Before we dive in, I just wanna introduce myself. I'm Joy and I help photographers like you step into the role of photo boss so that they can build their businesses and actually get paid to be a photographer. So let's dive into the 10 tools. Number one tool I recommend that you start with is Canva. Canva for all the graphics and animations. Now I use Canva for Instagram, uh, thumbnails here on YouTube, graphics over on Facebook, but you can use Canva for your pricing guides. You could use Canva to share your experience guide as a photographer or even round up some of your best portfolio, package that up into a PDF and send that to your potential clients and it's free. I absolutely love Canva and I really love that they actually have an app too. So if I design something on the computer, I can go ahead and just download it straight to my phone. The second tool I love is Planoly. I use Planoly's free plan to just visually figure out what I'm gonna be doing with my feed over on Instagram. You can pay and have all kinds of amazing features, but I have found that their free plan is really great. I think you can do up to 30 posts or uploads inside of the free plan and you can schedule this out or manually post, but it's often just really helpful for me to see visually what's happening in my Instagram feed and to plan my captions. And again, they have both desktop and an app, so it's super convenient. The next app I wanted to mention is Facebook's Creator Studio. Now you can plan your Instagram feed, but I don't like it for that. I like it for planning the content for my Facebook group and my Facebook page. Just makes it really easy to schedule out your content and to look at your analytics. So if you feel like you really wanna get better about scheduling and planning your social media posts, but you don't wanna pay for anything, this is a great place to start. Number four is Gmail, Google Drive, Google Forms, all things Google. Now. I love these because they're free, but they're also user-friendly. They have apps for my phone and they're what I would use whether I pay or not. If you wanna send a questionnaire to your clients and you don't have a client management software, you can use Google Forms. If you wanna set up an email signature to look more professional, you can do that inside of Gmail. If you want to back up your photos and back up your contracts, you can do that inside of Google Drive. I just think this is a must, must, must have for any business owner, especially a photographer. Number five is Audible. Now, a lot of people think Audible is where you listen to books and you have to pay, but if you have an email address that you haven't registered with Audible before, you can get a free book for your first download. So this is a fantastic opportunity for you to learn about business or marketing or photography or all of the above for free. So if you haven't logged into Audible and made an account with an email that you haven't used before and claimed that one free book, this is a great place to start for free education straight to your phone. Number six is an app or a software called Notion. I have made an entire video here on my YouTube channel about Notion, but it's basically just your project management tool. It's kind of like Trello or Asana, where you store all your ideas together. You can embed your Google Forms, you can create tables and really just keep notes to yourself um, about what's happening with different clients or ideas you might have for implementing in your business. Definitely recommend Notion and there are free plans that you can start on today. Number seven is Google Voice. If you wanna use your phone in your business but you don't wanna share your number with the whole world, you can create a free phone number through Google on the Google Voice app and then you can use that on your website so that your potential clients and customers can text you or call you without you feeling like you're giving away all of your privacy. Number eight is an app that I love called Bonjoro. I have it set up so that when photographers buy my course or join my coaching program, I get an automatic notification and I get to send them a video to welcome them into my programs. And I do this through Bonjoro and it's free. It's really personal. It's a way to really up level your experience with your clients. And I also think it'd be great to do with photography clients. So if you get an inquiry, you can just put their email in, send them a quick video and stand out from all of your competition because you sent a personalized video and it just makes it so easy. There's an app that you can download and it takes 30 seconds to send a personalized email like greeting card kind of with a video and i do all of this in the app bonjoro 
definitely recommend it. You'll probably be the only photographer doing it and it'll really help you stand out. Number nine is the Unfold app. This is the app that I use for formatting my Instagram stories in a really beautiful way. So if you've ever looked on people's Instagram stories and wondered how they made it look so pretty or got special text or all that kind of stuff, it might be the Unfold app or the Unfold app might help you to emulate what you're envisioning in your head. So between Canva and Unfold, you can do pretty much anything in your Instagram stories. And I have it on my phone. I've never paid for it once. The free plan has lots of templates and it has just really elevated the way that I show up over on Instagram. And number 10 is the Apple podcasting app. Now you could listen on Stitcher or some other platforms as well, but I really love this app for getting free education straight into my home, makes it so easy. And I actually have a whole video on what podcasts I listen to to grow my photography business. So if you've kind of thought about podcasts as a good way to learn as a photographer, and you know there's great free education, but you just don't know like, what do you even listen to? It's kind of overwhelming. Start with this video up here. I'll also link it down below. And I'm sharing with you, I think it's like seven or 10 of my favorite favorite podcast to listen to people that get straight to the point drop straight knowledge such good value and don't waste your time and are really going to help move your photography business forward all right so this has been 10 apps completely free to help you build your photography business i'm curious if any of these were new to you or if you have a couple of apps that you can add as well i say that because that means go into the comment section leave me your favorite apps or let me know which one of these apps were new to you and we'll keep the conversation going. Speaking of building a photography business, if you're not already a member of my Photo Boss Facebook group with over 7,000 other photographers hanging out in there daily, you definitely want to join. It is an incredible community and there is so much education. I go live in that group. I share first dibs on my courses and programs in that group. And you definitely wanna be a member if you're not already. So I'll link that down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing because I make videos just like this one every single week and I would love to see you next week. Bye guys.